Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When, in his own image, God created man, he included freedom in creation's plan. For he loved us even from before our birth. By his grace he made us free men of this earth. God to man entrusted life as gift and aim. Sin became our prison, turning hope to shame. Man against his brother lifted hand and sword, and the father's pleading went unseen, unheard. Then in time our maker chose to intervene set his love in person in the human scene. Jesus broke the circle of repeated sin so that man's devotion newly might begin. Choose we now in freedom where we should belong. Let us turn to Jesus. Let our choice be strong. May the great obedience which in Christ we see perfect all our service. Then we shall be free. Lord, lay your healing hand upon me, for I have sinned. Happy the man who considers the poor and the weak. The Lord will save him in the day of evil, will guard him, give him life, make him happy in the land, and will not give him up to the will of his foes. The Lord will help him on his bed of pain. He will bring him back from sickness to health. As for me, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My foes are speaking evil against me. How long before he dies and his name be forgotten? They came to visit me and speak empty words. Their hearts full of malice, they spread it abroad. My enemies whisper together against me. They all weigh up the evil which is on me. Some deadly thing has fastened upon me. He will not rise again from where he lies. Thus even my friend in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has turned against me. But you, O Lord, have mercy on me. Let me rise once more, and I will repay them. By this I shall know that you are my friend in my foes, if my foes do not shout in triumph over me. If you uphold me, I shall be unharmed and set in the presence of ev forevermore. Blessed. Be the Lord, the God of Israel, from age to age. Amen, amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, healer of soul and body, you said, Blessed are the merciful, they will obtain mercy. Teach us to come to the aid of the needy in a spirit of brotherly love, that we, in turn, may be received and strengthened by you. Lord, lay your healing hand upon me, for I have sinned. The mighty Lord is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear, though the earth should rock, Though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea, even though its waters rage and foam, even though the mountain be shaken by its waves, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within. He cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. Nations are in tumult. Kingdoms are shaken. He lifts his voice. The earth shrinks away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. He puts an end to wars over all the earth. The bow he breaks, the spear he snaps. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God, supreme among the nations, supreme on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. 
glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All powerful Father, the refuge and strength of your people, you protect in adversity and defend in prosperity those who put their trust in you. May they persevere in seeking your will and find their way to you through obedience. The mighty Lord is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor? Or the glory do your name, O Lord. Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. A reading from James chapter 5. Declare your sins to one another and pray for one another, that you may find healing. The fervent petition of a holy man is powerful indeed. My brothers, the case may arise among you of someone straying from the truth and of another bringing him back. Remember this, the person who brings a sinner back from his way will save his soul from death and cancel a multitude of sins. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I make my prayer for mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. If you are bringing your gift to the altar, and there you remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift in front of the altar. Go at once and make peace with your brother, and then come back and offer your gift. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. If you are bringing your gift to the altar, and there you remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift in front of the altar. Go at once and make peace with your brother, and then come back and offer your gift. The Lord Jesus sanctified his people with his blood. Let us cry out to him, Lord, have mercy on your people. Loving Redeemer, through your passion, teach us self-denial. Strengthen us against evil and adversity and increase our hope. And so make us ready to celebrate your resurrection. Lord, have mercy on your people. Grant that Christians, as your prophets, may make you known in every place and bear witness to you with living faith and hope and love. Lord, have mercy on your people. Give your strength to all in distress and help us to raise them up through our loving concern. Lord, have mercy on your people. Teach the faithful to see your passion in their sufferings and show to others your power to save. Lord, have mercy on your people. Author of life, remember those who have passed from this world. Grant them the glory of your risen life. Lord, have mercy on your people. Let us conclude our prayers with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, may our observance of Lent help to renew us and prepare us to celebrate the death and resurrection of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.